Alright guys, so this is an unboxing of some excavator attachments. And the way I actually got a hold of these was uh, someone on my fan page sent me a picture of them and he asked if I was interested in buying them. And being that they don't ever really come around too often, I figured I'd, I might as well regardless of uh, the price that he said and he even said he would give them to me for free but I, I insisted on paying him for them because uh, you know it would just make sense to um, so they came all the way from Australia and uh, took around maybe a week and a half to come and I'm really excited to get them because it's not too often like I said that you could actually get a hold of these and I had to pick them up they were actually made from BSB plant on eBay and I had a couple of, of his other attachments, and they were fantastic, so I had to pick them up. So uh, Here's the stiff arms for, and I'll show you is. Well, Alright, first what I'll show you here is the bucket, and you can see it's casted metal, which is awesome. Um, I wasn't even sure what these would fit. I had an idea, but I just had to buy them. And they're just really nice. Um, I'm definitely probably going to put this on maybe my 954 or 924. Hopefully the 924 because I want a large bucket for it. And I think that will look very nice on it. And here is what I really wanted. Um, and this is the humongous sorting grapple. And you can see it's just huge and it's so cool. Um, I want to put it on my 870. You can see it's huge. It rotates. It's just really cool. Um, maybe I'll even put it on my 984 lever. I think it would look really cool on there. Um, you can see it's just humongous. It's really cool and really nicely made. Um, I'm actually surprised by how nicely made that is. That's going to look insane on the 984 lever. Um, that's where I'm probably going to wind up putting this. Uh, you can see it's just huge. I like how it'll stay close too. Um, I could almost picture this like dredging. That's really cool. Next is a resin cast grapple, and I'm gonna have to make a stiff arm for it because uh, he told me that uh, it didn't come with a stiff arm. But I actually like the resin one better than what the other one looked like, so I got this one. And here's the resin grapple. And one thing I want to say is you can notice that they're big. They're not like small for a 320. And the good thing about that, about that is if you notice my collection, I don't have small excavators. So uh, maybe I'll put this one on the 870. I think that would look really cool on the uh, on the 870. And if you notice, it could stand up on the ground. So it's made, you know, really nice. And there's not too many custom grapples out there that will actually stand up on the ground, no problem. And the last but not least... Is there one more? Oh, that should be about it. Is the large trenching bucket. Another one that I got from my 870. And uh, you can see it's just really cool, nice and large. And I like how it's a trenching bucket. I actually wanted to make one of these the other day for my 870. But then I remembered I had these coming. And that's all that's in the box. But I'm going to put uh, these back in the box. Because I could use that to ship other stuff. But anyway, so to sum it up, I got the large trenching bucket, large bucket for my 924, a humongous sorting grapple, and the normal 3 to 2 tine grapple. So thanks for watching, I'm going to get them painted up and then I'll fit them and make a video on them.